Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Wishing you a holy jolly Christmas. Before heading, make sure to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell and do watch the video till the end. Hot chocolate. So in a pan, add 1.5 cup of milk. Two tablespoons of cocoa powder, two sachets of milk powder, and mix it well, making sure there are no lumps. Add 5 to 6 cubes of chocolate. Mix it well and let it come to a boil. Once it starts to boil, now it's ready. Transfer in a cup. This is totally optional but you can add marshmallows on top. And enjoy! Betty Crocker Mug Brownie Mix It comes in a very simple packaging in a paper box At the back of the box you will get the instructions on how to make Mug Brownie So you will get 4 brownie mix and 2 Hershey syrup sachet. Take microwave safe cup and add 1 packet of brownie mix. Now add 2 to 3 tablespoons of milk or water. Mix it well. Making sure there are no lumps. Microwave this for 1 minute and 10 seconds. After that, it's ready. Drizzle some Hershey syrup on top. And now your mug brownie is ready. chocolate biscuit pudding so for that we need three cups of milk
टू स्पून ऑफ पाउडर्ड शुगर थ्री स्पून ऑफ कोको पाउडर एंड अप्रॉक्सीमेटली थ्री स्पून ऑफ कॉर्नफ्लावर whisk it make sure there are no lumps in the batter now you need to keep it on a stove and keep on whisking it now add chocolate cubes so here i've used 4 to 5 cubes of dairy milk syrup You can increase or decrease the quantity of chocolate cubes according to your taste. Keep on whisking it till it becomes thick. Now take a bowl and add one and a half spoons of coffee, one spoon of sugar, half cup of milk, and mix it well. You can take any biscuit, but here I've used marigold biscuit. Now you need to dip the biscuit and arrange them in a bowl. Once the bottom layer is ready now you need to add a layer of hot chocolate pudding make sure that it is fully covered now add second layer of biscuit and add one more layer of hot chocolate pudding If you want you can add more layers of biscuit and hot chocolate pudding Now sprinkle some cocoa powder You can even use strawberry syrup and some chocolate chunks Once it's done we now need to cover it with the cellophane paper and refrigerate it for 2 hours After 2 hours our pudding will be ready Make jam biscuit and salty ajwain biscuit in a bowl add 100 grams of butter Half cup powdered sugar and whisk it. Whisk it till it is fluffy. Now add one point two five cups of all-purpose flour or maida. and mix it Now 
knead it and make a soft dough Divide dough in two equal halves. Now in one bowl add a joint and pinch of salt and knead it once. Now in a baking tray add butter paper. So first we are going to make jam biscuit. So for that, take dough and make small balls and flat it. Make a thumb print using fingers or small spoon. Once it's done, fill it with jam. Now we are going to make salty ajwain biscuit. So for that, Again, make small balls and flat it. Using a knife, make vertical and horizontal light cuts. And now our biscuits are ready to be baked. Preheat your oven at 230 degrees Celsius and bake this for 10 to 15 minutes. Keep on checking in between. Let it cool for 10 minutes. And now it's ready. Today we are going to make chicken roll ups in tomato sauce. First, we are going to make filling for our chicken roll ups. So, first, we need to blanch our tomatoes and peel them. Finely chop them. Now take a pan and put some olive oil, add garlic, and saute it, add onions, and saute them till it turns golden brown. So now we need to add black pepper, salt, chili flakes,
and give it a good mix. Now we need to add our finely chopped tomatoes. Mix it and mash them with a spatula. In small quantities add water and keep on mixing it in circular motion. This is totally optional but you can add 2 to 3 spoons of packed tomato puree. Now add paprika, mixed herbs. Now we need to add mozzarella cheese and mix it and now our tomato sauce is ready keep aside so now we need thinly sliced chicken breast now we need to pound our chicken so for that you can take a ziplock put the chicken breast in the ziplock and pound it now we need to arrange our thinly sliced chicken breast over a baking sheet. Once it's done, now sprinkle garlic powder. Salt. black pepper now flip the chicken and sprinkle garlic powder salt and black pepper now add one spoon of your tomato sauce on each of the chicken breast piece and spread it now sprinkle chili flakes and basil now top it with mozzarella cheese Once it's done, we now need to roll our chicken. And secure it with a toothpick as shown in the video. Now take a pan and put some olive oil and butter. Make sure it is evenly spread. Now place the chicken roll-ups on the pan. Make sure that the toothpick side is facing up. Once you have placed all the chicken rolls on the pan, let them cook for at least 4-5 to five minutes. After 4 to 5 minutes, you can flip the chicken and let it cook again for 4 to 5 minutes.
Once both the sides are cooked, now you need to take oven safe bowl and transfer chicken roll ups. Make sure that you add leftover juices that are left in the pan. Now again add olive oil and butter and add cherry tomatoes and toss them. Now transfer cherry tomatoes along with its juice on chicken roll ups. Now sprinkle chili flakes and basil and top it off with mozzarella cheese. Preheat your oven at 230 degrees Celsius and bake your chicken roll ups for 15 to 20 minutes. And now your chicken roll ups are ready. Make sure that you remove toothpicks before serving. And don't forget to add the juices. You can have this with garlic bread and salad to make Tuscan chicken. First we are going to marinate the chicken with salt, pepper and paprika and keep aside for 20 to 30 minutes. Now fry each side of chicken for 5 to 6 minutes. Make sure to flip the chicken in between. Once both the sides are cooked, transfer them on a plate. Chop onions, tomatoes and spinach. Now take a pan and add 2 tablespoons of oil, butter, now add finely chopped garlic onions and saute it till it turns transparent. Add tomatoes. Spinach and give it a good mix. Add salt as per your taste and let it cook for some time. In between, make sure you mash it with spatula. Add fresh cream. And stir it for 2-3 to three minutes. Now add mozzarella cheese.
To adjust the consistency, you can use milk or water. Here I've used water. Add black pepper. And mix it. Add oregano and parsley. In the end, add the fried chicken. Let it cook for 5 to 6 minutes. Once it starts to boil, the chicken is done. Now transfer it in a bowl. And garnish it with spring onion greens. And now your Tuscan chicken is ready. Enjoy it with mashed potatoes. Tuscan style cheese corn poppers. We need to boil the potatoes and mash them. Transfer them in a bowl. Add salt. Finely chopped onions. Black salt. Corn. Coriander powder, red chilli, oregano, black pepper, 3 to 4 spoons of all purpose flour or maida, fresh coriander and chillies, and give it a good mix. And now we need to add grated mozzarella cheese. And now your filling is ready. So in equal quantities we need to add maida or all purpose flour and corn flour. So here I have used 3 spoons each. In small quantities add water and mix it. Keep on doing this till you have a smooth paste. Once you have a smooth paste, now keep aside. Now we need to oil our hand and make small balls of the filling. Flat it and add mozzarella cheese in between. And now roll them again and give a ball shape. Once all the balls are ready, now refrigerate them for 1 hour. After 1 hour, we now need to dip the balls in maida or all-purpose flour and corn flour mixture and then cover it with bread crumbs. Keep on repeating this process. Now we need to deep fry our cheese balls. Keep on flipping them in between. 
When your cheese balls have turned golden brown and look crispy, you can transfer them on a plate. You can enjoy American style cheese corn poppers with ketchup or green chutney or any other sauce that you like.